In this video, we're going to be talking all about grading. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine, founder of Sewing in the City. If this is your first time here, welcome and thanks for joining me. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking all about grading, um, what it is, some of the my favorite tools that I use that make grading so much easier, as well as um, I have actually a skirt here that I am in process of, um, the waistband. So we're gonna just um, grade this skirt waistband seam together. This skirt is my new skirt pattern called the Aster. Um, and that sort of gave me the idea for this video because I've been doing a lot of grading. I've been making um, several samples of the skirt. This is a little preview of it. Um, it's just such a fun little skirt with these big, uh, generous pockets and um, the waistband. So the waistband seam is what we are going to be doing the grading on. So what is grading anyways? So grading essentially is just when we take a seam, so like this seam allowance is 5 eighths of an inch, this seam is going to be enclosed within my waistband and that's a lot of bulk in there. That's um, two layers of you know the seam allowance. So if we were to just take our scissors and just trim this seam allowance to let's say like an eighth of an inch. We just trim trim it off both layers, just as it is now, just kind of like, you know, trimmed it off. You would feel where you trimmed. Like right now I can feel right here where the two cut edges are, um, are matching up. So that's not like the best way to really reduce bulk, especially if you are using uh, like a denim or a heavier fabric. So the idea with grading is what we do is we trim one layer, let's say to an eighth of an inch. So um, you're trimming one layer to an eighth of an inch and then the other layer to a quarter inch, let's say. And what that does is kind of give us graduated edges so that you're not gonna feel like a definite, you know, um, like point where your seam allowance is like ending. Um, and it really just helps reduce bulk and so that your seam allowance really is just um, as smooth as possible from the right hand side. Really that's all grading is, is just grading out your seam allowance to graduated levels so that it lays nice and smooth. So most commonly you're going to want to grade your seams anywhere you want to reduce bulk and you don't want to have that like you know sharp sort of like edge of your cut edges within. So your collars, um, facings. If you have a neck facing, you want to grade that seam allowance, um, you know, before you push the the facing to the wrong side. So to finish that edge, um, waistbands, of course, really anywhere that you have a seam allowance that you're turning inside out and you want to reduce the bulk on. So I want to share one of my favorite, favorite, favorite tools that really helps support easy grading and that is the duckbill embroidery scissors so these can be called um, embroidery scissors sometimes they're duckbill scissors um, but these are um, a, just a special scissor so you can see one side of the shears um, has this it looks like a pelican bill or a duck bill and what this little thing does is hold the fabric away from your scissors. So as you're trimming one of the layers of your seam allowance, you can kind of maneuver these scissors so the duck bill holds any of the other fabric away from your scissors. So you're not going to accidentally clip your, you know, the right side of your fabric or any other of the layers of fabric around that you don't want to cut. So this duck bill makes grading so, so, so nice. I think um, I got these online. I think they were right around 10 to 12 euros. I'm super happy with them. So you don't even have to spend a lot of money to get um, get yourself a good pair of these duckbill scissors. So now let's get into the actual grading. So I have my waistband here somewhere um, that I'm going to grade with you. So I've sewn my waistband um, right sides together onto the upper edge of my skirt. And now I have this big seam allowance there and how this is going to go together is my waistband will fold 
we'll fold over that seam allowance and then I'll top stitch it from the right hand side. So I don't need all that bulk. I don't need five eighths of an inch seam allowance here. So I wanna trim this away. So the first thing that I always have to like get clear on before I grade is, so one of our seam allowance layers we're gonna cut to an eighth of an inch approximately. And the other layer we're gonna cut to a quarter inch. So which side of your seam allowance do you trim a quarter inch and which side do you trim an eighth of an inch it does actually matter but i will say if you totally mess it up and you cut it wrong it's not really going to matter that much so what i like to do is i'll take like okay my waistband's here i simulate when this is finished which way is the seam allowance going to go it's going to press up towards the waistband because my waistband then will fold over it and i'll top stitch so I know that um, I'm gonna press my seam allowance towards the waistband. So I want this layer, the outer layer, to be a quarter of an inch, so just a little bit longer. And then the underside of my seam allowance, I'm going to trim to an eighth of an inch. So what that does is once this is folded up, the shorter layer of my seam allowance is going to be kind of kept in by the longer um, outer layer. But again, it's not the end of the world if you reverse this accidentally. I've done it a ton of times, but this is really the first thing as I'm starting to grade, I'm thinking to myself, okay, which side do I want to be short? And I usually do the short side first. So I am going to change my camera around so we can get a closer look and I'm just gonna grade this with you. Okay, so I've got my waistband laid out here, my skirt. Um, waistband facing up because this is the, the side that I'm going to trim to be the shortest. So this particular skirt, um, I'll just trim that, um, has ties. So I am just going to start my grading right here where the skirt starts. So in this case, I'm just gonna like trim in a little bit. You may not need to do that, but that just gives me a little place to get started. And so this layer, I'm gonna trim to about an eighth of an inch. So all I'm doing is just taking my scissors with the duck belt down and I'm sliding them perpendicular. So not like this or like this, I'm holding them flat, like parallel with my table. And I'm just sliding it in and I kind of hold that and then I just start trimming. And I'm literally just trimming this just to an eyeball kind of eighth of an inch. So you can see, just um, one side. Now my scissors, I'll just slide them in. And so you can see what happens is this duck bill is like holding my other seam allowance away. So I'm not actually, um, you know, or accidentally going to trim it. And so I'm just kind of holding my seam allowance now that I have it started and just trimming it away. Um, and this, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. We're just going to trim it. Now, let me just show you, if I were using my regular scissors, this becomes a little bit cumbersome. And you can see you don't have that extra support of the duckbill to kind of hold your fabric. So that's why I love these scissors and it makes it so much easier. So I'm just gonna continue on. Um, I think the biggest mistake that I've made when grading is accidentally trimming your main fabric. So, you know, maybe something happens and you you trim, you know, underneath. So I'm just laying this flat, kind of smoothing it out, making sure that there's no, um, you know, extra fabric in there, especially this fabric is really fine. This is a viscose. Um, if you have a heavier fabric, it's, um, you know, a little bit probably easier to make sure that you don't actually trim it. So I would continue on um, trimming that to an eighth of an inch. So now let's go and trim our second layer. So I'm just going to go back where I started. This one I can trim, you know, all the way starting from it. So I'm just eyeballing about a quarter of an inch and I just go through um, and I'm just trimming. So in this case, I am using my scissors um, perpendicular to the table um, rather than holding them like this. You could use here like your regular scissors, but you can see this is the second layer. 
And so you can see the difference. The seam allowance then is really nice and smooth. The bulk is trimmed out. And then when I go to press this, the longer side is going to cover the shorter side. So it's kind of kept neat. And um, you know, in this case, this waistband is going to go over that seam allowance and then I'm gonna top stitch it. Um, and so it also just keeps that seam allowance more secure in there. So that is how I'm grading this waistband. So once you're done grading your seam, you're gonna have all your seam allowance scraps. And this is how my waistband grading looks after trimming um, all of the seam allowance down to an eighth of an inch and approximately a quarter, quarter inch. You can see this does not need to be perfect. It's not gonna show. It's all about reducing the bulk. And you know, so it's, um, it, is, it is as neat as possible. And yeah, so that's how it goes. I am now going to press this seam up towards the waistband and get my waistband finished. And this is going to be view B of my new um, skirt, the Aster, which hopefully you're gonna be seeing really, really soon. If you have any questions about grading or anything that I maybe missed or didn't cover, just leave a comment below. I love hearing from you. And if you're not already subscribed to my newsletter, I will drop the link below. I send a weekly newsletter with other tips and tricks like this or new patterns and anything new happening in the sewing in the city world. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.